Down to a crawl, a traffic nightmare on the Northway this morning after a construction glitch backed up traffic for miles. Now, it's not the first time this has happened, but some drivers say this time around, the State Department of Transportation did not give any warning at all. It's a complaint we've looked into before, and tonight our Matt Markham is doing it again. Matt joins us live in our newsroom right now with what the state DOT had to say. Good evening, Liz. We put the tough questions to the Region 1 spokesman after discovering, or at least we heard from some people, there was no warning given to drivers heading into work who then sat in big traffic backups for miles. We've learned they're not the only ones who have a price to pay. Was there any kind of warning given to you that there was going to be any kind of backup or issue on the highway this morning? This morning, we did not know that there was going to be any backup, and uh, that was not something that uh, was conveyed to us. When traffic is snarled on area arteries, Clifton Park Half Moon Ambulance Corps responders take the route less traveled. But here's an ambulance heading to an Albany hospital this morning, crawling along with the rest of the cars. Obviously, there was a delay, which causes a problem in making that ambulance available again to answer more calls. They are typically notified by the DOT of incidents, especially on the Northway. Why didn't the DOT give anybody more advance notice on this? Well, since January, we've had a contractor up there sort of doing overnight work in the off peak hours uh, when traffic's lightest to uh, sort of do prep work for periodically for the, uh, the upcoming spring work, spring part of that Twin Bridges project that we saw last fall. Um, and what happened last night was that the project went longer than anticipated. A milling project ran into a problem. The patient in that ambulance was not affected, but it did take the rig out of the district longer than responders would have liked. And that traffic made a lot of drivers late for work. Our cameras caught traffic backed up for miles. Construction is supposed to be wrapped up before the rush hour, and because it was not, the DOT tells me Lane Construction, the contractor on the work leading up to the Twin Bridges, will be fined $2,750. Other drivers complain they didn't know of traffic delays either. The DOT says they should have been. Overhead signs were lit alerting drivers. We didn't see this one lit up on the side of the road. Why would that one? I mean, I have a picture of it yeah, showing no, that it's dark. Sure, why no, would, why it, would yeah. that one not be on? I guess those just weren't being used on, on for this incident. Um, it's the type of thing we could certainly look into. And we did find signs lit, but much later in the morning after rush hour and crews blocking lanes heading south from exit 8. Well, the DOT does say it is looking into its system of notifying first responders. They all have backup plans for traffic on the Northway or elsewhere. Also, there's a question over whose sign we saw on the side of the road there. It could have been the contractors, but that still doesn't explain why it didn't alert drivers to trouble.